Lulu. Yes. Look, I know it's been a big few weeks. Yeah. Feels like a long time, a lot longer than that. I have to preface this by saying that I am in no way a hater. Okay? Mm. Not a hater. But I'm I'm th- I'm thankful as fuck that Taylor Swift is leaving Australia. Oh yeah, it's been a big few weeks for the Swifties, mate. I just think that I'll be gr- I'll be very happy once I can go onto a news site and every fucking second story not being about like a Swifty, yeah, or Taylor Swift. God love the lot of you. Nothing against it. Love that you love Tay Tay. Yeah, happy with it. Sick to fucking death of her. But, you know, the th- thing for me is is I was at a Hens in the weekend and I was going, oh, good on, t- I think she's a phenomenal performer or whatever. And I was like, sweet. I, but I was like, I just don't understand the, like, cult Swifty vibe. But then I was like, but I'm a believer. You are. So yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I yeah, do yeah. the exact same but for Justin. So uh, I don't really have a, a leg to stand on. No, you don't. You don't. Like a, a, like a victim of a cannonball in the American Revolutionary War. You don't have a leg to stand on. I Was that a necessary <laughs> analogy? <laughs> no, it wasn't. But if I did offend any Taylor Swift fans or Taylor Swift herself, all I could ask you to do is to shake it off. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to think of one. Well, yeah, you know, the weather today, is just, it's just been a cruel summer. Is that one of her songs? Yeah. Yep, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of other Taylor Swift songs. Uh, no, we've got to talk about the Tesla. Farting Tesla. Yeah, so run me through this again. So I caught an Uber with TDD on over the weekend and our Uber driver's Tesla farted. But didn't you say, you said something along the lines of it dropping oil. I'm like, Teslas don't have engines. No, mate. I made that up in my head. Apparently okay. it's just a... a, a, a what would you call it? What's the word? What's the bugger? Uh, uh, like s- it's a feature. Uh, feature. That's it. Oh, it's a it's a feature. But I think they got recalled because you could. So he would just click this button, and then Tesla would go. Really? He just fart for us. But he made it out like it was like letting out like gas, which was good for the engine. But that, I think it's just a gag. It, they don't have engines. Well, Teslas don't have engines. Yeah, but that's what he they run off. That's what the Uber driver was making it yeah, out to so me. That like he was, it was you know like when your puku's full of gas, you got to let it out. So he was making it out like the Tesla had to let let go and get his fart out. My my puku. Which one of us is known as Stinky Lou? I'm not a farter. You've created a phenomenon from nothing. See on that TV. What is that? What's that thing on the TV right now? Crops. Yeah. Now, out of the out of you or my, you or, you or I, which one of us is likely to dust that bad boy? Well, I'd say it would be on par. <laughs> I would say it would be on par. So it must be a feature, and then he's he's created a little story around yeah, the feature. So like, no, just, it actually releases gas from the um, batteries. Yeah. So then we just sat outside and giggled for a while, listening to the parts. <laughs> You can hear it from outside. We, he, we, he was playing them inside and then, yeah, he opened the door and it was still farting. Uh, uh, not an external feature, though, presumably just on the speakers on the inside. Well, I could hear it while I was standing outside. I think, cr- I think with some Teslas, you can, you can, it's a feature. You can download sounds for the horn. You can also download engine sounds on the inside and some of them have speakers on the outside so you can actually... Really? Hear it. Am I correct in saying that they recalled that it was a, d- a dangerous feature? It was a safety... F- um, well, look, if it's, an, if it's something you can download, they probably don't have to recall a vehicle. You could probably just remove that from the, the list of options, buddy. Well, but not the people from Tesla couldn't do that to every single car. Yeah, they could. That's why they can update their vehicles. From home? Uh, yeah. You, so ever, you could update yeah. Alfonso from his garage. You, do you go into the Telstra shop every time you need to update your phone, buddy? But you don't plug in Alphonse. Oh, you plug in a Tesla. You plug both of them in, but that has, I don't think that has anything to do with it. Well, how would you update Alfonso from? Wirelessly. They, they can update systems and shit. That's why you can update your fucking PlayStation. Your fucking updates. Every, everything's updates. Not a car. You got to plug it in. You got to plug it in. What do we call it? Like 
Dior used to Dior it. What do we do it when Willie needs it? But this is Willie Wikipedia. We need a Willie Wikipedia. No, you've seen some Teslas like before people get in there. There's you sometimes update an update and you can't drive the car until it's updated. So there's new safety features, there's new... Well, this is why that. I'm fucking going back, bro. Never seen I'm going that back to Alfonso. good old-fashioned I told you from the get-go you should have brought Gianni. You bet you're regretting that now. Uh, no, not at all. What? Why not? Why would I want Gianni? Because he's just a good basic old kite. All he had was Bluetooth. Didn't yeah, that's what I want, but like you. less... Like... Less junk in the trunk. Because he had a fat ass. He didn't have a fat ass. Yes, you know Gianni had a fat ass. You like to think he did. Look, these are the programs you have to download for your car. There you go. So you got to update the cunt. Well, I've never updated Alfonso. But see... But I don't think Alfonso do you... would require updates. No, you, yours wouldn't require... I think if you needed it, you'd probably have to take the mechanic. But, but because that's the what I Teslas mean. are all wirelessly I operated. I vividly remember something going wrong with Gianni and I had to take him to the Ford shop and they had to plug him in and check... Everything out. Yeah, they put a computer in to check the yes. computing system. But what yes. I'm saying, yeah, that's that's normal, that's regular shit. What I'm saying is a fucking Tesla, they'll be like, update 2.312 is coming on fucking Thursday. And then your fucking car will so let So Tesla's update. pretty much an iPhone. That's what you're saying. It's one of these ones, is it? That's what you're saying. <laughs> Sorry, but that's what you're saying, Jack. I can feel I, I felt it from the car ride It was one of these <laughs> ones <laughs> oh, You're a patient kid, kid <laughs> You're a patient kid I felt it I knew it um, Right So Tesla's can fart Yep Taylor Swift has left the country Yep I had plenty of other things for you No, no, I've got Look, I wanted to do You know How notoriously bad I am with my phone. Yeah. Really bad at responding to texts and WhatsApps and fucking... I've, I've taken steps to try and rectify that. Yep. I think I might have found... You had to have a chat to me the other day. You're like, you've been a little bit fucking... I can't send 10 texts in a row and yeah. get no You're like, buddy, if it's about work, you probably want to respond yep. to me. Lou had to tear strips off me the other day. Give me a little kick up the arse. She was like, listen, little cunt. Pep, little, 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 a little pep pep talk from she, LDD. Yeah. If you don't want to respond to people just asking you if the weather's good, that's fine. If you, if I'm asking you about uh, something we got coming up, I probably good a, you respond to me. I need a TB. I said you're dead right, Lou. You are dead right. But knowing me and my brain, I'll, 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 I'll skip and falter again yeah. at it's some okay. point. I'll just know to, to – But I'm trying to be good. Yeah. No, I noticed a few ticks back. I was walking through JB Hive. I, the other day. No, no. It's the <laughs> first one you said. Not the second one, it's the first. Right, scrolling through, I, I love JB Hive. I love roaming through there. Mm. Just looking at shit. Saw something that, let's just say, it tickled my fancy. And I thought, well, if I had this, I'm instantly contactable and I'd find it fun if you need me. So, what I've done. Jachi's going to get a little present. Is one for me and one for you? Oh, <gasps> walkie talkies. They've got a 10 kilometre range. Get fucked. That's from my house to yours. Correct. <laughs> so, I was just We're thinking. We're getting walkie talkies. <laughs> I was just thinking to how pissed it would have be been if I'm not on the text or whatever and they're just here. Oi. Oi, can't. <laughs> Answer my fucking text or get on. And I'll be like, yeah, Rogie. Yep, okay, I'll go back to that email now. Over. This is amazing. <laughs> this feels like the stepbrothers scene. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Holy shit. Now I'm easily contactable. That, so you'll be in the man cave and I'll be like, oi, fuckhead, check your phone. Correct. You do have to come up with call names. Yeah, oh my yes, God. we do. Call signs. Paging. Fuckhead, no, I want to go to the Rojo. Mine's, yours has got to be... Um, wow, that technology. Osama Chin Laden. <laughs> Osama Chin Laden is great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you old Lou for Osama Chin Laden? <laughs> wow, that's wild they last 10 plus Ks. Yeah, so there's a range of 10 kilometres. I just thought this would be a funny way because it'll make me laugh every time I hear... Oi. Fuck, that's good, Jarchi. Should we test them out? Yep. Are you able to Osama Chin Laden? Over. Uh, eight year old Lou reporting to Osama Chin Laden. Can you hear me loud and clear? Uh, copy that, eight year old Lou. Osama Chin Laden. Loud and clear. Anything you need from me? 
Hey, champion, uh, fetch me a weak ice long black, would you? Thanks so much, kid. He finished that statement. I didn't hear over. Over. <laughs> so sorry, eight-year-old Lou here reporting uh, to Osama Chen Laden. Could you please grab your old man a ice long black? Thanks so much. Over. Walkie talkie girl. Thank you. Prisons. This is going to be so fun. <coughs> I agree. Fuck, imagine how funny it would be you just sitting there and you just hear, hey, champion, over. So you're Chinny the Pooh and I'm Osama Chin Laden. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we have poo. to say over really, after that's everything. Brilliant. Yeah, over. Imagine how fun it would be just being like, you want to go to the Rojo? Over. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched the TV show, it's over, over. I just watched a TV show about a Range Rover over, over, no. I'm just watching. I just watched a TV show about a Range Rover that's over, over. I'm just watching Rove over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of. I just watched Rove in a Range Rover over, and it's over now, over. <laughs> Who's very clever. <laughs> now tell me about the wedding you went to on the weekend. Nah. Oh. How long are we going for, Will? Oh, you're done. Yeah. Yeah, 19 minutes. Well, I've given the presents 90 minutes. That's a good effort. You just want to go home. Good effort for the bedwetters. You just want to go home and to play the walk talkies. Yeah, no shit. No, no, had a ripper. Shout out to Izzy and Mush and um, in the Hunter Valley. Yep. Realised I haven't been to the Hunter like, Valley for a wedding. I don't, I don't think. think I've ever been to the Hunter Valley. It's fucking beautiful. Um, had a ripper time. Big, um, big shindig. Bit of a lift. And I was still a little bit crook. That week I was crook. But I tried to get over it, so I got up early that morning, pre-wedding. Yes, you said that. with Jeff and Hugo and the boys, and was so fucked. That probably wasn't the smartest of ideas, knowing you're going to a wedding and about to, like, launch. But I felt, because I hadn't done anything all week, because I'd been so crook. I was like, yeah. fuck, I've got to get up and move, and even though I wasn't feeling that great. And we were doing the fucking stairs at Coogee. And um, you know the great thing about the Coogee stairs? Not many of them, and not that steep. Is that a lie? That's a lie. Where lo- are lo- the Coogee lo- stairs? Coogee. Lots of them. Very <laughs> no, steep. No, but where? Are they, is it the stairway to heaven? <laughs> <laughs> but enough about Steph's legs. Oh, Jack. Stairway to What? I mean, what? That- what? That's a famous adage. No, it's you've made that up today. I haven't. It's an old adage. Well, No. No, Louisa, no, no. I'm just sick of it. Just bring this podcast <laughs> up a notch, would you? Or I'll confiscate... Something was brought up when I thought about. Jack. Well, Louisa. I'll confiscate your walkie-talkie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on, please. Yeah. I'll confiscate it. No, no, no. Fucking, um, I don't know. It's in Coogee. I don't really know how to explain. I don't really know Coogee well, that like, well. like, is it near the Coogee Pav or is it down the other end? So, you know... By the okay, beach. Okay, okay. So there's the Coogee... So everyone playing at home, this is in the eastern C- Correct. Suburbs. I mean, what does it matter where they are? Well, I would like to know. And I'm part of this podcast as well. And I'm... <laughs> I would like to know. <laughs> Past the surf club. There's a walk. Don't know a- where that is. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... Doth have continued. They're in Coogee. Okay. A lot of them. So I was doing the jog over. I was going, okay, because you jog over to the stairs before the real shit starts. And I'm going on the jog over. I'm in trouble. Because everyone's talking like it's early in the morning. Everyone's like, so mate, what's on for the weekend? And they're all mm. jogging and shit. I uh, know, I know. Early mornings, I went for a run with Ned Brock on a week ago this time. <laughs> so I know what it's like. To <laughs> do you? Early mornings. Right. So then, but you woke up this morning at about 8.15. I did not. <laughs> I decided to treat myself to a wee snooze till seven. A wee snooze. <laughs> you're your old man wee. of a wee snooze. Yeah, I wanted a wee little snooze. I needed a wee yeah, little. A Scottish little hey, lady. This is not a bad Scottish accent. I, had a, not great, little, I had a wee little. I had a wee little snooze for that's the crap. Bit. That's crap. I, I that's had dead a snooze. crap. It's not good. I, it's not. It's good. It's not bad. It's not great. It's, it is. Tree, great. Tree scene. I've got, I had a wee little snooze. I had like a, a Scotsman. Like a wee little. I snooze. had a wee little snooze. Where are you snoozing in Glasgow? I snoozed in Glasgow at the snoozer thorn. That's not great. Willie, give me your Scottish. Ah, uh, your eight tone. That's very good tone. Yeah, I sound it. the same as you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Are you taking that pass? 
You're taking the piss, oh, you're surely. Taking the piss. Surely you're taking the piss. Have you seen that video of Scottish people trying to say purple burglar alarm or whatever it is? Purple burglar alarm. Purple burglar alarm? Is that what it is? Pa- purple burglar alarm. You. But I'm putting on an accent. But not a good one. Well. It's not. It's subjective. Accents are probably more objective than subjective, buddy. Disagree. They're either good or bad. Disagree. Some of them are in the middle. Yours is what I would argue is bad. D- d- give would, me your best say, say, I'm a wee Scotsman from the region of Glasgow. I'm a wee Scotsman from the region of Glasgow. Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> see if you can get this, this Scots saying purple burglar alarm. Can't say it. They're like Why? purple burglar alarm. They're, they're um, there's some Scottish people that kind of say purple burglar alarm. Purple burglar oh, yeah. Alarm. Purple it doesn't sound alarm. like the real words. Purple burglar alarm. <laughs> you know what Purple I mean? Purple burglar alarm. Burglar. Burglar. Purple <laughs> burglar. Bur- but it's kind of like a tongue twister. For them, because yeah. of the way that they speak. It's like seashells, she- seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. On the seashore. <laughs> <laughs> Purple burglar alarm. Purple pur- pur- Sorry, we've digressed. Go back to the stairs to heaven and could you? So, Steph. No. no. <laughs> the could you stairs. So, I'm running up. Yeah, fucking hell, what a tangent. Um, <coughs> so, I'm running. Everyone's chatting, right? They're all doing Scottish accents, so they're all talking like this. Lee, we're going to – I'm joking. So, getting over there, they're all yarning, and I'm going, holy fuck, I'm already breathing heavies here. This is a struggle. Hugo goes – so we're going to do three sets of this. He's like up the stairs, two at a time, fucking 30 squats up at there and 30 push-ups. I get up the first one. I'm heaving. Now, I was probably relatively at the front of the pack. Got up there. There was a few blokes in front of me. I thought, okay, I reckon I can do this. Second set, about 30 metres behind everyone, kid. Even mates of mine, not in tremendous nick, 30 metres behind them. Struggled. Did the third set, got up, did that, went back down. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, fucking hell. Got up the third set. Hugo was like, um, just comes over, a little hand on the shoulder. Buddy, maybe you just do 10 squats and 10 push-ups. I'm like, thank you, buddy. Because it was just, I couldn't breathe. Because of all the congestion there was in my you lungs. probably pushing yourself a little bit too fast. I, I went too fast too early. Yeah, like you probably should have waited until today to do something, kid. Thanks, kid. As a as a runner now and a trainer. Yeah, yeah. You know. So when so um, what have you done since uh, the big ten k's? A couple of hot girl laps, just resting the legs. Oh, true. So two fifths of absolute. Did a did a Pilates class. You leave early. Not that one. Really. I saw Ben on Sunday and his girlfriend. Did you? And he was wearing the hat. Was he? Yep. Which one? Excuse me, senorita, or the way we went? Excuse me, senorita. Love that little pink one. Powerful stuff. Um. Okay, so you did that and then you had a big shindig at the wedding. Yep. And then you had a nice relaxing rest of your weekend. Recovery, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then trained with um, Jeff and Hugo again on Sunday. Fucking look at you go. Just trying to push through it, doll. I've got this copying, fight with fucking Groper coming up. Copying Lulu with the old athlete enthusiasm, hey? Yeah, I mate. I it, just knocked that into my chin. Just took it. Well, something that I cannot do. Mm-hmm. That movement. That close to... Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be doing that again. And so, what happened with your weekend? Anything big, like anything substantial happen, or um, like on Sunday, or what did you do Sunday? I had a hens on Saturday. Yep. And then I met ten day dates, mum. Sorry. <laughs> so, sorry. Yep. What did you do? I met ten day dates. You met the parents. And you've had fun, haven't you? Yep. And did you get drink drunk, didn't you? Well, I had a couple of drinks. Oh, Louisa. I had a couple of beverages. You sick fuck. To welcome. So you made a drunken, oh. you were a savage. I've been very mature lately, you know that. So no, I just had a couple. Said hello, let's have some now, how was the first calamari and a limoncello spritz. Now this lady's from the bush. You think calamari, limoncello spritz, best thing to start with, kid? Well, we went to a... A seafood restaurant. You see food and eat it. <laughs> you know, I'm on a seafood diet. A seafood and, and I eat it. And if it's fish, I eat it. I'm on a seafood diet. Fucking idiot. Um, that's the late, great Norm MacDonald 
from from his repertoire. But I just said that joke, and then you copied me. No, no, no. You said the classic joke. I'm on a seafood diet. If I see food, I eat it. And I said I'm on a seafood diet. If I see food and it's fish, I eat it because I'm literally on a seafood diet. Gotcha. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got it. Shout out to Norm. Got Norm's book up there on the set, actually. Norm McDonald, based on a true story. So he's just taken the actual words and made it comedic. Very good observation. Now, how, what sort of a pr- uh, impression do you think you left on um, MOTDD, <laughs> Mum of Ten Day Dates, <laughs> otherwise known as Motted? <laughs> how, what sort of an impression did you leave on Motted? Um, yeah, good, I think. You think? Well, no, I know it was good. Ten Day Date told me it was. He told me something different. No, he didn't. He did. He texted me. He said she embarrassed herself. No, I did not. What? I would never do Doth as such a he thing. He also left a hotline. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. No, he did yeah, not. Yeah, he did. He said she just did this fucking stupid joke about seafood and <laughs> eating it at this restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I did do the pterodactyl though. Kidding. Oh, <laughs> fucking got hell. Ya. Got you, bloody beauty. That would be aggressive. Now, um, so you think that she liked you? Yep. Wow, buddy. Well, I'm, this is I a big re- step, isn't it? I reckon I'm a pretty likeable character. Yeah, small doses sort of stuff. How long were you with her? Four hours. Oh, yeah, that's punchy. That's pushing it. That's a lot of loo. Okay, four hours. Did you leave to go to the bathroom any ta- at any stage? Well, you know I got a weak bladder, so okay, yes. so how many times do you reckon? Maybe three. Five-minute increments? Yep. So she's had 15 minutes breaks and four hours. Not enough, is it? Um, any th- did you have to go and get drinks? Yep. So you did go to the bar. Busy place? Quite busy. How long do you reckon each drinks thing? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. How many times do you get drinks? Three. Three times 30, so you're 45 minutes. So you're nearly an hour out. Three hours and 15 minutes will lose. What do you reckon? Bearable. <laughs> <laughs> Seven out of ten, maybe. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> uh. well, can I just say, I'm very impressed with myself, even though that was very basic math. I was so concerned during that bit that I was going to get the maths wrong. Mm. <coughs> I haven't even think. If this is great for a podcast, I just took a, a sip of my um, coffee, which is full of ice. Perfect. For now, I'm so, yeah, just talking like this. <laughs> <laughs> just sounds like oh, this is actually good. This is a good opportunity to speak to the real life eight year old Lou. That's what she would have sounded like. <laughs> so, buddy, how's life going? Hang on, very really good, thank you. Is it, buddy? Uh-huh. Now, in terms of cardiovascular health, where, where are we sitting? Um, maybe I'll start doing two runs a week. Good. And now we're talking runs or runny poos. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> Both. We're doing both simultaneously as you run, runny poo. And who's your favourite parent? Can't tell you that. And what's, what are you going to do for your birthday, eight-year-old Lou? Host the Fair Factor Joe Rogan party. And how, what sort of wig are you going to wear for Joe Rogan? A big blonde Notoriously one. Notoriously hairless. Notoriously bald. Although Fear Factor days, he did have a crop, I think, a brown crop. We shall buy that. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> Now, who's a clever, who's a clever little eight-year-old Lou? Me. Oh, she's back. I'm back. <coughs> that was actually really nice. That was a good little insight. Top of the charts, guys. That was great. <laughs> good content, kid. <laughs> really good content. Really good stuff. Do you, do you want some Lulu go surfing? Yes, I do. But I've got a twist on it today. Okay, cool. So- so I'm doing a little go surfing, but it's um, TikTok based. Oh, so, so this will be factually accurate. Exactly. Perfect. It's the stuff that I found on TikTok. Right, right. Lulu go surfing on TikTok app. On TikTok app. Okay. Jack just said something very inappropriate about <laughs> me and 10 day dates. <laughs> Intimate life. That's not funny. It just came to me. You made a little song. <laughs> okay, this one. Apparently in Iowa. Oh. There's a husband calling contest state fair. So they yell out to their husband and then the winner wins. Get out of town. Are you ready? Yes. You come here right now. We're late. Roy? Roy! Can you hear me? You get yourself in here right now. Come on. You know you're going to be late again and you know 
know that I want to get there on time. Roy! Fuck off. Roy, 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 Roy! <laughs> hey! Honey! Simon! Simon! John Brown it. <laughs> Simon! Schnitzel, Bratwurst, Sauerkraut. Wo bist du? Where are you? I know we went the other day. But that was This is bizarre. And the family's like, the, This what? is bizarre. Yeah, so they get up there and they go, so like Steph would get up there for you. Well, you do one for 10 day date. Yes, yeah, so let me paint a picture. Yeah, paint, paint, paint the picture for me, please, kid. You, you live in the dream, all right? You bought a little block out at fucking Boho, wherever he's from. A little, nice little block, all right? Mm-hmm. You're living in a nice little cottage, all right? There's petunias and shit. You, you tend to your garden. You, you make it, you, you've made it quite the impressive garden. In fact, you've got Gardens Weekly coming out next week. To do a bit of a photo shoot and an interview with you. So it's gorgeous out there. Ten Day Day's been the man that he is. He's out there. He's fixing the tracky, the tractor. All right, he's flat out. The old Massey Ferguson's fucking given up on him and he just can't figure it out. He's hot to trot. But guess what? Guess what Mama's done? Your Mama in this situation, by the way. You've made him a healthy batch of cucumber sandwiches. All right? <laughs> And a fresh little pint of lemonade. Yeah, because guess what? It's hungry work fixing the old Massey. Call him in. Um, <clears throat> ten day date! <laughs> ten day date! Cucumber savvies and freshly squeezed lemonade! It's ready on the table! Suddenly, for some reason, the tractor works fine and he's driving in the opposite direction. <laughs> he's just laid down in front of it. <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon? Ten day <laughs> Would that be annoying? It would be fucked. That was good, actually. <laughs> Not, you know what? Less annoying than some of those fucking women in that thing. Well, Jesus. Roy! Roy's, Roy, Roy was Roy, the Roy, winner. Roy. The Roy was the winner. Roy. But do you know, it reminds me, when I used to yell out to my mum, I'd go, Mom, Mom. Th- that, that's- and she started to get so annoyed, so I started going, Jill, 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 because she's, she's getting so fucked up with me going, Mom. How is that woman, how is that woman still such a saint? Patience, I don't know. patience of a saint. I know. Patience. God, it'd be tough being a parent sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah, what an insight. Good insight. <laughs> Hell, what a fuck it, yeah. Great take, Lou. Thanks. Parenting Thanks. can be tough sometimes. Thanks Louisa so Dalden. Write That's that. up there with some of Gandhi's fuck or Gandhi's fucking quotes. Write that down. Send that into Daily Mail, would you? You know who that reminded me of? Oh. Aristotle. Oh, God. What's Aristotle been up to? <laughs> Very dead. Okay. Very dead. You know yeah, all right. Well, speaking of being dead. Oh, God. Come, good segue. There's a new thing that people are putting on their tombstones. Yep. And it's QR codes. Oh, you're joking. So you're walking through. Let, let, me, let me paint a picture for you. Okie dokie, I like it. You guys, Steph and you have decided to go for a morning walk. She said, let's wake up at six. Let's go wander around Vaucluse. And you, you know, there's a cemetery near the Grumpy Baker. Correct. And you think, let's start our morning wandering through the semi. Not, not a bad morning, just mind you. I like that sort of stuff. Yeah. So you wander through the semi, you're having a read of everyone's names and whatever, and you go, hang on a moment, what's that? You scan the QR code and you get a movie, a one-minute montage of this person's life. No. Yeah. Okay, so surely this is younger people, though. Oh, oh, oh no. no, of course, you could use photos and shit for the old. So old. it's like Johnston P. Smith. Mm, what a name. And... <laughs> And you scan the QR code and it's got his whole, you know, like memories from his life. Wow. Yeah. Tor and I were saying I'm cool we, with could, it. we would have a look at this, but it would just be all of our like fucked up like Bali and Europe trips. So you're going to see all this like yeah, stuff that we Bali never, 2009. We, what? 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 Why would you say that? Because those are like the Facebook Albums that you'd have, you're like, Bali, 2009, oh. and you'd have a full album of just shit. Sorry, I thought you were... Wasn't right. talking about the Bali bombings, it's because you want to know why, Lou? They weren't in 2009. Okay. 
It's That's a West safe. I thought you were referring to. <laughs> I, know. I thought, Jack, I did. you've ruined my Lulu goes surfing on TikTok. <laughs> Not at all. I was just that was making reference to all yes. the Facebook fucking albums yes, you used to have. But the stuff that no one sees online, like because you're dead now. You post all your rogue shit. How do you feel about? I actually don't mind that because when I first saw it, I was like, "That's fucked up." And then I was like, "You know what? How cool would it be to just see like a stranger's just like life in like a quick one minute vid?" You know, it'd make you kind of sad. Yeah, the one that I saw, I was weeping. It was like this old man and his wife and like the tw- doing like a tw- dance or something. I, I love old graveyards. I find them so interesting. Like because, dude. So you do start your morning walk, walking through a semi? I would. I certainly would. Walking I find through a semi with a semi. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> I we were spending too much time together, guys. <laughs> I literally had that on the tip of my tongue. It literally so popped long. into my mind as well, and I feel ashamed <laughs> that it did. I, when she first said it, you're welcome to the semi, and I was, it just came into my brain. I'm like, let her paint a picture. <laughs> Danger. <laughs> I was like, let her paint the picture. Um, fucking, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. My ex-girlfriend, she, she lived in the Southern Highlands. Now, she, it, 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 out the front of her house was like a fucking um, – uh, uh, there were vineyards, and in this little pot, there a uh, uh, plot. There was a cemetery, mm. and it was an old cemetery. I would have walked through that fucking thing. Oh, geez, I used to love it that, because I used to say on the tombstone the cause of death. So there was like uh, there was um, World War Two fighter pilots. There was people like falling off a horse, breaking their neck, Ow. like all that sort of stuff. And then they were even putting people new people into that graveyard so there was some new ones as well but they were a lot of them were really old and very interesting isn't there a thing that once the last person that goes in you're not allowed to get rid of the cemetery for a thousand years or a hundred years and then you can dig it up don't know maybe that wouldn't surprise me willy wikipedia that willy wikipedia you? that would you um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's something where it's like the last person to go into the ground then a thousand years later is when you're allowed to dig it up and like build something on it so like you know the makes um, sense the the Kula Valley one, mm. I think that's got like another a, a while. Nice, <laughs> that's funny. I think Willy Wiki rolls off the tongue better. Willy Wiki, can we get a Willy Wiki, please? And then we can show it to W Dub, Dub Dub, Willy Wick or w- Will Wick. John John's less successful brother. Yes, thank you. It's a good one, kid. Willy Wiki, you find anything on those graveyard laws, bitch? It's mostly just coming up with ads for cemeteries. Oh, Perfect. You can buy a 55 and 99. Oh, great. Oh, so you got to buy your spot in the sim? I believe so, yeah. Mm. Death makes money. That's what I've always said. So profound. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next one. Yeah, there is nothing here on... Uh, Okay, look, who knows? It's council land, though. I could have made that up in my head, but I'm sure someone told me. Water cooler chat. What? You know? Yeah. Um, We've got to talk about the stingray, the pregnant stingray. Oh, run me through it. Give me the update. Well, she's given birth, so everyone thinks that the the, the shark... Fucked pre- it. Yeah. So they're little shark rays? Yeah. No, they're not. They're shark rays. Yeah. Now, buddy, are you reading a headline or not reading the... I'm reading. Okay. Well, we'll just wait. I'm... (laughs) (laughs) Our stingray, Charlotte, is expecting we have held this close to our hearts for three months. This is really amazing as we have no male rays. Expecting or she's given birth. Because you just told us she'd given birth, buddy. Sounds Sounds less like Lulu went surfing. Sounds like Lulu paddled out. Sounds like Lily just you know paddled what? out. Sounds like Lily just paddled out. You know just what? Just to kind of skip the surfing. Today I thought it's a bit rough for surfing. I'm just going for a kayak. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm yeah. just going for a leisurely paddle. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna boogie board today. Yeah. You don't feel like surfing. Yeah, I thought fuck it, let's boogie. <laughs> um, no, she hasn't given birth, so this is just theories. People think that Jesus stingray Christ. So Jesus fucked a stingray. No, that's it, it's like the you know. It's a virgin stingray. Yep. Or that the dad's a shark. <laughs> Parthenogenesis. Parthen- yeah. Parthenogenesis. Parthen- yeah. Come on, guys. The theory is most likely. Parthenogenesis. Li- that's it. Plos- th- this is the most likely theory of the lot. 
Is experts suspecting that Charlotte's pregnancy is a case of the highly unlikely but not impossible occurrence of stingray parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis. <laughs> yeah. Type of asexual reproduction where a female's eggs develop into an embryo despite not being fertilised by any sperm. Which other fucking animals are... Um, parthenogenesis. Yeah, parthenogenic or whatever the I think is. I think the shark and the stingray have had sex. It's like two dollars. It's like a corgi and a husky could root. Yeah. D- 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 both canines. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> both canines. Sharks and stingrays are not the same species of animal. Sorry, don't, is this stupid? Can a cat and a dog root? Nah. Well, n- surely not. Yeah. The difference. Well, they probably could, but fuck me. That's what I mean. That's why I think the shark and the the stingray maybe. Chinese water dragon. What they fucking Komodo dragons are parthenogenic. <laughs> parthenogenic, I guess you'd call it, but I don't. I don't know if that's right or wrong. Parthenogenic snakes. Okay, so a lot of reptiles. So they can get pregnant without reptiles and fish doing anything. I yeah. mean, if it's not parthenogenesis, does anybody know what the zookeepers were doing? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good point. If it's not parthenogenesis, it's probably just Sally from from the reptile p- p- portion no, of Taronga. No. Well, not Sally. It has, actually has to be fucking Jeremy. You know what I mean? No, let's keep that. Comparing stingers. Above board. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't want to bring this down to bestiality? No, I do not. Do not. That's I'm probably not, fair. Yeah, I'm, I guess I've had enough fair. here. I'm going to the next one. Sorry? I'm going to the next story. All right, sis. They hit now, me with it. Because this is on TikTok, I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm like, I'm hoping it is, that Pixar has announced a new Pitbull movie. You know, Pixar, the, Dis- the, the you Pixbull. know. Pixbull. But it's it's like literally. Their newest project, da- Pixar has announced. Run us through that, Willy Wicky. Or was that you? It's me. Well, that, that was you. It's run, me. Run it's called that. Dale. And he's just a little bald, like, kid. No, it's it is. based isn't. around Pitbull. Is Pitbull's name Dale. Don't know, but I, I can only find it on TikTok. That's come now. Do you reckon that's people fucking that's with us? That's a load of hot cock, load. Do you want to see a photo of Why would of Pixar him? do a fucking... Pi- Impressionist. The Rams throw a fame. Legs not a waste of time. And time's not a waste of legs. Show me this. Are you joking? No. You think that's fucking... I can tell that's not real just by hearing it. Oh, well, they did a good whole video on Show it. Show me a look. Well, you can't. Yes, I can. Newest project, Dale, following the life of international superstar Pitbull in the first ever animated biopic. Cast to be the voice of Mr. Worldwide is TikToker and impressionist, The Cop 24. Hey, Dal. This is um posted by The Cobb. Uh... And they're saying the cob is. Listen to that. You think they're going to do a full movie, movie with that voice? I think they'd do a full movie about Pitbull. That has to be one of the great loadest, uh, great, greatest, hottest loads of hot cock I've ever heard in my goddamn life. Well, it fooled me. <sighs> what old gullible's travels over there? Very gullible. I'd go watch a, a cartoon of F- Pitbull. We know you would, buddy. But that's that's got to be a, so fucking such bullshit. Why would it be called Dale? Oh, where's he Dale. from? He's from Dade County. Uh, Dale. Mm-hmm. Dale. That's what they said. It wasn't Dale. It was Dale. Uh, it was like the new Pixar film. Oh, like the Dalai Lama. Pitbull often referred to as him. As the Dalai Lama. Mm-hmm. Of music. <laughs> He's a Dalai Lama of music. Yeah. Well, you've heard some of his lyrics. Phenomenal. So, I think probably what? How many stories did we? How many um, paddleboarding yarns? Four. Three out of four, probably true. I'd say four out of four. You reckon that movie's Call it an even four, kid. Call it an even four. <laughs> For the little paddleboard. Call an even four. Stinks a three out of four, kid. Don't think there's a movie coming out called a Dale that's well, a Well, we'll be going to the cinemas to watch it together. Hey. I would do that. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, I've got it. I was it. trying to fucking scroll through without this even coming up. What? I think I know where you're going. You just go. So last episode. Fuck. 
That's exactly what Last I thought. Last episode, Mummy and Daddy said that we'd do a dance class if there were 200 likes, 200 comments, sorry, on the uh, video of Judge doing a little shimmy for everyone. I think when I looked on Sunday, there was 480. How many are we at now, Willie Wick? Let me just crunch those numbers. Oh. We're at 510 comments. Oh, there we fuck. go. Now, if, now, I'm not great at maths. Correct me if I'm wrong. <clears throat> but 500 is more than 200. Am I no, right there? No, nah, not in ancient Aztec numer- well, numerology. Well, luckily we're not there, champion. Yeah, <laughs> you don't. No, I identify as an ancient Aztec. No. Fuck. So... Lulu was doing a little bit of little bit of prep, oh, a little bit fuck. of work over the weekend, and she thought, "You know what? I did the singing lessons on my own." Uh, no, hold on. So I thought, you know what? I did the singing lessons on my own. This feels like Jarch needs to learn to do hip hop. No. So, no. Um, Daddy, your Daddy, by the way, <laughs> Daddy has a private hip hop lesson next week. Fuck off. No, yep. I don't. Daddy no. has a private hip hop lesson. Dude, you said. Mummy's coming to watch. Mummy's coming to film. I'll be there for moral support, but Daddy's doing hip hop. <laughs> that's Mummy's fucking... booked Daddy into hip hop. Do you want to know why that's bullshit? It's because you thought you could actually sing. You wanted to do it. I don't want to do this. You said you'd do it with me. Daddy's doing hip hop. Mummy's coming to watch. Mummy might jump up for one dance, you'd one move. You fucking want to be doing it with me, mate. But, but Daddy's got a private lesson Fuck. next week. With who? I think they're called Move. What? They're called Move. There's not heaps of them. I could have put you in a class, but I've given you a private lesson. It'll be one-on-one, even better. You'd prefer that than being in a class full, wouldn't you? Ah, oh, feels worse. Daddy's going hip-hop dancing. <laughs> this is my... This is nightmare stuff. Waiting on the weekend. Think I think I saw that dance floor for one second. Yeah. I didn't. Just you wait. The next wedding you go to, you'll be doing a hip-hop dance. <laughs> Oi, fuck. <laughs> oh, I've got anxiety uh, now. That's okay. When? You've got a week to prepare. Uh, how the fuck do you prepare for a dance class? Just dance at home. Have a little boogie in the man cave. Where? Chuck on some Nelly. Hey, let me paint a picture for you. <laughs> for it's a sake. Tuesday afternoon. That's so it's Tuesday we go. Daddy's just had... Daddy's just had a nice game of Fortnite and a and a box of pizza shapes. <laughs> Fortnite. At the end of Fortnite, Nelly comes on, grills. Daddy thinks, my toes are tapping. <laughs> Daddy gets up oh, and he feels say, the, the music. <laughs> he starts to have a little hip hop <laughs> groove. <Fuck up. laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be mortified. This That's whole how you get thing. if I was you, I'd wear some like maybe some like baggy pants, maybe like a skin tight singlet. Something around your head, maybe. Ah, like step up. Yep, exactly. You got some big Air Force Ones, like oversight. Yep, I want you to wear those and the baggiest jeans you've got. I reckon you wear what you wore in the nerdy bra. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the tracky. Yeah. But yeah, I'd say the hip hop lesson. Most private lessons probably go for an hour. That's a long, Get ready to move, kid. That is a long fucking time to Daddy dance. Daddy does hip-hop for an hour. I'd argue I haven't danced collectively in my 34 years on this earth f- for an hour. You're about to. <sighs> You're about to, kid. It's upsetting stuff, Bedwetters. You've really let me down there. Thought we'd band together and not comment. Nope. When is this thing? Next Tuesday. Tuesday evening. Keep it free, kid. Ch- ch- Tuesday evening. We're going dancing. Well, Daddy's going dancing. <laughs> You're okay. All right. Mummy's filming, Look. and Mummy's filming and laughing. I know you will be. Fuck, I'm actually embarrassed already. <laughs> Jesus, the bed's made. I got to lie in it. Um, just why I was saying the word Tuesday just then. So first of all, before I get into this, fuck you, fuck the bedwetters. Um, fuck you, Willie, for some reason, just because. Yeah, fair. Fuck the Willie dance. Was in on fuck it. the dance instructor. Came fuck up the with dance it. school. Fuck them all. Um, you did kind of come up with it, didn't you? Yeah. Didn't you? You're very naughty, aren't you? Now you're a naughty little producer, aren't you? I'm, oh, I'm very did. happy with it. I think you'd be a good dancer, Willy Wicky. Willy can come with us and watch with me and laugh. Um, had a thought the other day. Yeah. It's always good to have thoughts. What am I saying? Run me through it. June. You're either saying you're about to run up a June, like on the sand, 
or you're going to watch the movie Dune, or you're going, or it's the month of June. Think about it, Aussies, Kiwis. It's like when I we say, don't say Dune, but it's it's like when I say tour, like my friend tour, or oh, Justin Bieber's going on tour. Very true, very very true. Yeah, I was just there's no difference between June and June, so it's like we're going to go to the Junes in June. You're like what? The fuck? Well, you could emphasis the D. But you, you, sh- you could emphasis the D. You <laughs> meant emphasise. Um, <laughs> it's late. Um, we all know you're big on emphasising the D. Uh, Jack Edward What Archdale. have I said? You've made a reference to the stairway to Steph. Oh, You've I, made a reference off air about 10 day dates. Your mind, your mind needs to get out of the gutter, Louise. And now easy. you're making references on air about 10 day dates. I, no, just the D, generally the D. Right. Or am I gaslighting you? You gaslighting um, me, kid. <laughs> can you think of any others? Think about it. June, June. Tuesday, June, no. Mm. <laughs> Would like choose, like to choose Cho- something and choose. As choose in and choose, yeah. Pr- well. Wait, choose and shoes? Choose and choose. Like, like choose his choosing food. something and then choose his food. Oh, choose. Similar. Yeah, I, I, he, I cho- he like choose that. He chose. No, that's chose. So no, choose isn't all. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this hurts. <laughs> but enough about 10 day dates. Oh! Jack! <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Ah! Can't stop coming. Now go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oi. <coughs> Bet when is it? Now wake up. We're doing a podcast. <laughs> Wait, bed winners, if you can't see, if you're just listening, but the, some of our bedwetters like to watch on the YouTube. Tube. YouTube. No. Um, don't, so. don't look at that because that will be a very ugly video of me <laughs> just falling down there. Not for the fucking Queensland bandit. Oh yeah, he would have said Very happy. Good look. We've got a couple of additions here. We've got a Steve Irwin statue. Love Steve. Took that from home. Where'd you get that? Mum gave it to me for my birthday once. Oh, that's cute. Is it metal? Bronze. That is a wolf with some eagles. Now, now who allowed you to decide what goes on the wall and what doesn't? Well, this is my side. You can do your side, but you haven't decided to do anything. Well, no one told me that I was allowed to. Well, we, we all did. We've been speaking about it for weeks. That, fuck off. We Don't have. lie. Yeah, we have. No, we didn't. About well, bringing I'm, stuff in to fill up the set. I'm going to just have a life-size statue of me. Yeah, we, we know that's probably where you'd go. With no, it. I'll, I'll bring in um, like some Kevin stuff, maybe yeah. some gherkins. Yeah, we have talked about this. A tequila. No, we have not. Yes, we have, Louisa. Jake. La- Laura. Laura. We have, because you've we, said, can we, we have Kevin up there? Can we, and we I said, said, put one we'll of your Kevins trinkets, up there. And I thought it was going to be a group thing, but it sees WW and Jake over here have gone behind the big dog LDD, big mad rooter over here's back. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, we've just done our due, due diligence. Jew. Jew. Oh, get over the words. Sorry, Jew. Get over it. I can't. Jew. Like, that's that book is Jew. And Jew. Hey. A Jewish person. Paging Dr. Loser. Quiet. Get on the hotline for me. <laughs> Mama's over it. Hey, little step, Ma- little step up too, boy. <laughs> oh, fuck. You're going to be the new Channing Tatum. All right, now full disclosure, I didn't actually get any time to listen to these. So Love that. For the first <laughs> yes. Great, so now we're, our producer doesn't even care. <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> Hey, look, I've been, uh, I've been getting hounded by the Hello Sport boys yeah, the reels before they went away. Those so. fuckers. Selfish cunts. That's why your dads are up there behind you. Yeah. I'm going to remove that. Yeah, why the fuck are we promoting yeah. their fucking podcast? Well, we aren't in their set. Yeah, we're not in their set. Move that. Get rid of it. Burn it. Burn right. it. Here we go. Let's go. Love this. We're all listening together. Well, hey, Jags and Lewis, you should probably start with that. Thanks, mate. But that voicemail is Fucking terrible. <laughs> it's like know. Lube recorded it on speakerphone. Like, come on. Uh, Put your heads. I think she did, mate, from memory. I, think I she... recorded it here on yeah, this on microphone. Yeah, on speakerphone, I think. No, on, on this microphone. So you're speaking into a microphone. So it's like a speakerphone. Yeah, so it must get, the version of it must get shitter quality 
when you upload it to the voicemail because we recorded it on this microphone. Mm. Speaking into phone, yeah, so speakerphone, you did it. Interesting. No. Interesting. If, you, if you've got a bone to pick with me, don't pick it with me. Pick it with Rode, the microphone. I thought I'm it was all right. To. We can, I can call it now so you guys can hear it. Love to. Yeah. Never heard it. But you were in it. Was I? Yes. Huh. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Hey, Bedwitters, you have you you have made it to the hotline. Woo, woo, hotline alert. Welcome, Bedwitters for life. Jachi, anything to say before the Bedwitter leaves their voice note? Yeah, find out if everything you love and times it, times it by 20. <laughs> In my <laughs> words, drunk. love you, Bedwitters. Please leave your voice note. Mwah. That doesn't G'day, guys. How there you go. Guys. Let's play this next next episode. Uh, just leaving a hotline for you two fucking. Hey, fuck you, Lou. That doesn't hey, Josh, you chinless cunt. Um, it doesn't sound like me. It didn't sound like either. It's it's sound. We hang up. It's pixelated. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's late. It's still the. It's the morning. It's late. We do this early in the morning, buddy. It's late. How it how, does, how how how? It does sound shit. I agree with you there, bedwetters. I disagree. I thought it sounded fucking fine. Willie Work, if you could if you could investigate that for us would be We might just have to do it again. I, I think oh. it sounds absolutely fine. Okay. Fuck the cotton. Okay. Round two. Next one. Good day, you silly dickheads. It's uh Wilbur here. Um Wilbur. that last episode, boys. Mm. Um you were yeah, you abbreviated the fucking the fucking <laughs> <laughs> you know, goozy go and all that bullshit like that. I reckon you abbreviated more words than you finished. Yep. And uh, I called in about um, abbreviating my fucking phone out the fucking window and I'm about to abbreviate That's my right. fucking self out the fucking window if you're not fucking careful. Yep. Anyway, um, yep. I'd like uh, you to piss on or piss off and stop with the abbreviate. Uh, the... Bye. <laughs> that was a great... Hey, kid, can't help it. Hey. Can't help the abbreviates. Hey, kid. Look, don't abbreviate yourself out of wind. All right, but maybe a breathe into a a breathe into a pub, have a quick scoo, and just chill out. Maybe a quick tick side. <laughs> maybe a maybe a quick toad and a snit. Maybe have a stir and some fries. A steak with right. mushroom. Yeah. So. Maybe even get. You know what I mean? I know that one very well. Yeah, it's an old, old adage. Old adage. The one that rings the true. The Hunter. Yeah, good point, mate. We did do a lot of fucking abbreviating. You're dead right. Apology. Apologize. Yeah, apologize. <laughs> That's good. G'day, cunt. Hey, um, Judge, Lou, love you. Your podcast is awesome. Sometimes both of you are going to learn to shut the fuck up. Correct. But um, anyway, the only reason I'm actually calling is to find out, are we going to get any 10-day dates soon? But yeah, love you. See you. Bye. Oh, like as in like a reveal of TDD. Oh, the reveal of the old TDD. Um, maybe we're revealing body part by body part. Foot, ankle, shin, knee, thigh, stomach. Each week Text. we could just release a letter of his name. Mm. But because he is, he is, his name is Swahili and it's 472 letters, that's going to take a year and a bit. That's the whole point of it. It's a tremendous really point. Really drag it on. Tremendous point. It's what they do in um, radio. They, they, it's um, Cume and TSL. They try to keep listeners on board for certain things. So you oh. know. How would you know? Do you do a radio course at uni or something? How do you know about radio? Not not a, not a, not just a radio cross course, course. I um I I got a degree in right. broadcasting, majoring in radio because right. I yeah right okay. after Did that degree things you, things you learn <laughs> I I worked in breakfast radio <laughs> what yes Jake I'm sure I've mentioned that if not if not once at least twice Loretta you have never once no, no Jasper Liza look. Lisa, you've never once. Jonathan. Lamb Panetti. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, yeah, look, 10 day day. I'm just happy keeping it private for now. Okay. It's nice. Yeah. 
judge just said something very inappropriate that uh, Willie will be cutting. Uh, I did a big old clap there. It was good from you though, kid. Hey, speaking of Willie cutting, you circumcise Willie Wiki? <laughs> no. True. So what? we could dock. Yeah, we could. But why do we... What? 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 We don't need to go there. I just wondered if it was... What's wrong with my guy having a turtleneck on? Yeah. No, there's nothing He's wrong with He's got a skiv for the winter. That's why you ski a lot. Yeah. I don't think I need to know how the turtleneck's going. I'm technically in a turt today. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Where did you get the turt from? Well, my RM <laughs> Williams jumper is set technically turtleneck. It's not a turtleneck. Well, it's a funnel neck. It is, because it funnels up. It's just a collared jumper. No, you do that and then it got, sits... The funnel neck is what it's called, Jack. Is that actually what it's called? Yeah. Okay, you got a funnel neck on. Yeah. All right, got a turtle neck so on. Do I. Two, two more. Okay. Well, right. well yeah, man, fuck him. That man's coming right now. Well, he's not here. Is he? Um, this one came in. At <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. Sorry. It's okay. this, this one came in at 9.23 this morning. 9.23. Hey, fuckwits, I just arrived to my first day of uni and I'm shitting my pants. I'm a pants shitter. Anyways, um, red light, green light. You know those videos on Tic Tac where they, like, restock things and they're all in, like, fancy jars and shit and they make it, like, ASMR? Uh, red light, green light to that shit because it's addicting. Yeah. Anyways, love you, bitches. It's got to be. Also, I'm on speak up. Let's get hot. Love you for that. Don't encourage speakerphone. I just think it sounds great. I think, firstly, congratulations on your first day at uni and good luck. You're very clever, aren't you? Congrats. Uh, congrats on wearing pyjamas for the next three years and not going on any lectures. Correct. I think I agree with her. It's it's stupid but addictive. They make it look so really nice and fancy. Nah, I, that's, I'm not into that shit. I'm into lawn mowing videos. Yeah, we know. We'd have or, different or, or FYPs. Pressure, ro- pre- pre- pressure washing videos. Yeah, we got different FYPs. Very different. Yeah. I saw one of a bird making candles, putting flowers and shit in them, and I was just like, ah, not for me. A man mowing a lawn. Sorry. Anyone mowing a lawn. It'll get you going. Or pressure washing shit. That shit fucking You've seen the one where they clean the cars? You'd love that. It's like from filthy to clean. I have, and I really love them. Or, Or even rebuilding watches or cleaning carpets. Yeah, you're a fucking loser. Okie dokie. Let's get another hotline in. <laughs> <laughs> Feelings are hurt. Yeah. This one came in at 9.57. So oh, okay. like fucking five minutes ago. Quick, because I'm going to piss my pants. G'day, guys. Here you go. Let's play this next next episode. Ah, uh, just leaving a hotline for you two fucking... Hey, fuck you, Lou. <laughs> hey, Jack, you too much fun. Um, <laughs> sound like me. <laughs> that doesn't sound like we me. We are so dumb. I was literally just like... Well, fuck, they sound like they were in a, a session at 9.57 in the morning. For Honestly, for the briefest of seconds, I thought someone was taking the piss out of the way I spoke. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were like, get out of yours. I'm a character of myself. Oh, that's unreal. Um, hey, <laughs> thanks so much, Bedwetters, and we love you for, for sticking around as per usual. It's just, it's just been swell. No, it no, has. No, it's been unreal, and... Thank you for coming along on on this wonderful journey we call life. Oh, did you? Sorry, did you see me do the Kevin? Me see me meet a real Kevin the other day, buddy. Yes. Now were you jealous of me having met a wild very Kevin? Jealous, but you gave him a little, little nudge. I did him just a nudge to get you off the road. Picked him up and said, "Come home with me for Lulu." He probably would have bit my uh, jugular and given me chlamydia. Perfect. Um, I wish you picked him up. Now, yeah, we love you, bedwetters. Keep pissing. Keep pissing as always. See you when we're looking at you. I suppose. <laughs> Don't fucking laugh at that. I'm going pee. Hooray.